Hi everyone, welcome back to my Mon Stack tutorial series. And today we are going to fix some bugs. Actually, I wanted to shout out to Sukriti who has uh, reported this bug. So the bug is that last week she put comment in the tutorial saying there is a bug in our application, in our Mon Stack application. And um, I provide the solution on text version and she came back to Discord channel, my Discord channel. If you don't know about it, I'll put the link in the description below. And saying the, the problem is still there, we need to fix that code base. Can you please help me to fix the code base? I said, oh, sure, I'll do. I, and she's been following this tutorial from beginning and I think she's working on her college project with this tutorial. Um, thanks for reporting this bug if you're watching Sukriti. And in this tutorial, I'm going to fix that bug and um, show you how you guys can fix on your code base as well. So let me show you the bug what we are going to fix today. So if you are running the application and then log in already, this is what you're going to see. This is the dashboard. So the problem is that when you go to add new ticket and let's say you create a new ticket. Yeah, this anything and open the ticket. You see the new ticket has been created successful message. So if we go back to the home page or ticket listing page and let's go again, you want to open new ticket. The mass is still there. The masses should have been removed from the state and the similar problem in the reply ticket as well. So if we go to any specific ticket and let's say you reply onto that um, message and if you do reply, see the message is here that's good but when we go anywhere else any other pages and if we visit back to any ticket we still see that message because this uh, message has been updated in our state and is still there so it happens with same with the closed ticket as well so let's go to ending ticket and if we do close okay the message is still the same so even if we do close ticket the message will still stay there so no matter which page you go, when you come back to this ticket view or the uh, create new ticket, the messages are still there. So this is like a lazy bug, we need to fix it. So let me show you how we can fix this bug. Hey guys, if you are here for the first time, my name is Prem Acharya from Dented Code. I create tutorial related to full stack web development. And if you are interested in full stack web development, please subscribe to the channel, turn on all the notifications. And if you like the tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. That will help me with the YouTube algorithm. With that saying, let's jump into the computer and let's fix that bug. Okay, so let's go to this, um, go to our code editor. Let me put this side by side. Let's go to the front end code editor. Again, guys, if you have been following along with me, so you should have all the code with you. If you are not following along, then I will put the link to the code repository in the description below. You can find that in the description. The first thing, let's find out where is the message showing up so this is inside that a ticket um a new ticket form so i'm gonna go and do control p to do all search and say add ticket page and inside here we are calling a ticket form so this should be showing here uh, scroll down there you go we have like success masses this is the success masses actually so if we open our um redux dev tool in our open ticket if you see success message new ticket has been created and this is the one i'm showing off here so we need to clear this one out on our component did unmount method let me show you how we do that so first uh what are we gonna do let me make bigger this message is coming from our um open ticket open ticket is the uh, main reducer in our store uh, let me quickly show you that to so open ticket this one which is basically referring to this um a ticket slicer we can go to that page and here what we can do we can basically run another function basically we can basically create another action creator that resets the message. So what I'm gonna do here, let me copy this one. And I will say, okay, reset success message. We need state, we don't need payload. And uh, basically in our um, initial state, we have the success message. That's what we have to reset to empty like here. So let's put that. And no payload, just the empty string. So we don't need this one too. 
so we do have this one now we export this one as an action creator from here so if you guys don't know how the action creator works and why we exporting like this uh, you may want to go back and start watching the tutorial series okay so let's export this one out from here and we save the file so just remember this the file is in the a ticket slicer inside our a ticket um form component now let's go back to our form the a ticket base not this one this form so i don't need this thing let me close them i don't need that too okay and not the dashboard okay so a ticket form here what we need to do is we need to um run a cleanup function inside our use effect so the way you run the cleanup function is you return a function basically it's an anonymous function and you just write whatever you want to write so how it works is that if you know component did unmount that we used to do in uh, pre like before we have like hooks in our all style of coding in react so this method exactly that's what happens so when the component is on mounting then only this uh, method triggers so here what we can dispatch sorry here what we can do is simply dispatch dispatch that method we created in our um ticket slicer here so in order to use that we need to import first so you can see they are in the same directory and when we import i'm going to just import this right here so in same directory and it's a ticket slicer so we are exporting as name function so we need to pass exactly same name here and which we can use now so um oops not here sorry guys um take this out so this is just the parentheses of the function so we need to run inside the curly brackets so run here and save that and we need to pass dispatch as a dependency otherwise it will show the warning so let me show you what ha has updated in our code so if um let's see the action trigger here so now if we go to any other page let me refresh this first so we are in the ticket form so if i go back out of here you see the research su research success masses action is trigger which is actually action we have created in our ticket let me close the sidebar ticket so this is the actually um message if you see here research success msc research success msc this action has been triggered so even if we for example provide some message just like that for example if we save and reload the um application see there is a, a default message which we just put it here so if we go back let's see what happens see this uh, message has been triggered and if we come back the message is not there anymore so what we need to do is just remove that and if you realize that every time we go out this method is keep triggering even though there is no any message here so in order to avoid that situation let's go back to here again and where we are calling our not here the ticket form where we are calling our uh, cleanup function inside our use effect so we just check the condition if we do have this message then only run that cleanup function otherwise don't run it so if you do like that and save the file so now if we go to our form and when we exit it does not trigger that uh, action but if we do have a message it will trigger it let's save that there is the message so if we exit it you just watch here there you go the the action has been triggered but if we go back in our uh, etiquette there's no message here as you can see that the message has been reset to the empty string okay that bug is fixed i can just save that file and the, the let's fix the another bug the reply message bug so let's go to the individual ticket let's um just open any so again let's see the bug so if we reply this ticket message to this ticket maybe let me make bigger and you will get this your message updated that's the message coming back from server and let's say if you go back to any pages and come back to any ticket 
plant still stays there. So we need to do exactly the same thing what we did it before. So let's find out what the message is showing up first. So I'm gonna just make it smaller here and go to our code base. So this one is the ticket landing page. Let me quickly find what pages we are in. Um, let me oh, close this one. So control P and ticket ticket pays I guess and here uh, is loading yeah error and reply ticket error message yeah that's the one and reply message as well so that means even if we have any error we'll still see this error message so this is coming from our tickets so if we go to our store the tickets is from this ticket slicer let's go to that file i don't need store anymore so in here again we can basically do the same thing let's reset the error ticket um reply ticket error and then reply masses let's create um another for x integrator here and just copy that i'm gonna say reply masses um okay response uh response masses so we don't need any play payload here as well so just delete that we do need this step though and i just like to leave the is loading false in case if there is anything still loading and i'm just gonna copy these two stuff here and i'm just gonna fix in a second so we don't need this too okay so reply ticket masses and the reply masses we have to access as an object's property from our state and it's not the colon guys it has to be equals to because it's assignment so that is done now we need to export this one as an action creator here save this file and now we need to import just remember that this one is this file inside the page uh ticket list page so we need to access that from this page so we need to go inside this folder and refer to this file to import this file uh the function so to do that um we import here so it's one step up and it's in the ticket list and it's in the ticket slicer and this is again the name function import and let's run same thing in the use dispatch so we need to return a anonymous function is a cleanup function this function will run every time the component is on mount here i'm gonna again dispatch this action creator here but again like before we don't want to trigger every time we uh unmount that component so we just make sure we have these masses in order for us to run this on um reset the reply message so in our case we have the reply message and reply ticket error so we need to put our condition so if we have any of these two then we read this one so basically we need to put this both inside the um brackets so that this one one condition and this one is the another condition so either if we have a reply message or the error message in our state then only we dispatch this uh reset response message let's provide this to as a dependency because it's asking us to provide the dependency here and save the file and let's go and test it out okay it's complaining is not exported from our ticket slicer uh, it should be let's quickly check go to this file and okay okay there is a uh, tiny bit um error here we need to fix that we don't need this comma here we forgot before i guess to clean up that and let's save that file i didn't realize we had error down here i should have made a little bit bigger sorry about that and now let's go back and let's go to any ticket now um let's go actually uh let's go any ticket and let's reply to this message and if i hit reply button we do have a, a response reply message here now i'm gonna unmount this um component by exiting this page and we'll come back to this page so let's see i go to the ticket list again now let's go back to the ticket again there you go we don't have that message anymore so this bug is fixed as well 
So the another one we need to fix is this close ticket. This is the message here. Let's go to dashboard and if we go to any ticket, the um okay actually they both using same message uh, uh in our state. So the both error has been fixed. Now we cannot see this uh close ticket um success message here. There you go, guys. The bug is fixed. And if you are also following this tutorial and if you have any issue with this project, please just write in the comment section and then we'll definitely fix it. And um, oh yeah, in the next tutorial, actually I thought that whole project is finished, but I realized that we have left two things. The uh, again, like when I log out, there is no way client can create the account. Basically, idea is that. Um, only admin can create the account for user then only they can correspond between the user and the operator but uh, Sukriti asked for adding the new functionality where client can register it would be good for you guys to know that how to create the register user form and hook into the uh, backend API to create the user account so I'm probably gonna do that tutorial and also the forget password this is what we forgot last time so in the next tutorial or separately I'm going to make the user registration form here and hook to the uh, backend API and also hook this uh, reset password to the backend API to make this functionality work. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you like the tutorial. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up as always. And if you have any question, please write in the comment section below or you can join me in the Discord channel. I'm pretty active there. And uh, yeah, code every day guys and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.